Okay, next we're going to talk about how I rig up and then we'll go over the other cart. Uh, my wife has the plug-in cart. It's a great cart, fully adjustable. The beach wheels are fantastic. Just keep them married up properly, 4 PSI maximum, but they actually float a little better at 3 PSI. So that's what I would recommend. If you got a long parking lot, eh, you know, 3, 3 PSI just gives you a little bit more drag, but it's really nothing compared to what you're going to save over the sand. I pulled my car personally close to a mile the other day to get while I was at a campground to get to the uh, beach. wasn't bad at all. Now I'm going to show you how I rig up. Uh, when I go offshore, things can get a little hairy sometimes. And, you know, I've been upside down twice in my life. That's not too bad, but uh, that's two times more than I needed to. And kayak leashes really save you a lot. By kayak leashes, we're talking about the gear leashes. Uh, we'll start here. Of course, my GoPro. Never go offshore without my GoPro. Uh, the case is empty right now because, hey, we're using the GoPro to make this video. But the, the, this is a Cinch Lock Pro. It's extremely long. I mean, I'm sitting here trying to film, but I can go anywhere I want. I can put it underwater. I can do whatever I want, but I never go without my GoPro leashed up with the Kayak Cinch Lock Pro. My depth finder. People don't think about my depth finder. Uh, it's something you can lose, but it is. I have my depth finder rigged the best way I've ever seen one rigged. I've got a round mount onto my rocket launcher. I come out, I plug it in, I pop it one time, I hook up my wires, and I'm ready to go. I use one of our standard kayak leashes for my rocket launcher. It's hooked to a carabiner that I keep always affixed to the inside pocket on the inside of my Hobie. Uh, next up is the Mirage Drive. This Mirage Drive, I use the Cinch Lock Pro here. It does double duty. If I'm in the flats, I hook this to my belt and I'll use away the flats. If I'm in shows on one of my other kayaks, I keep one that I use in the shows on the front of it. I hook it to my belt loop and I wade up and down the shows. It really takes the shock out of it. This makes for a great Mirage Drive leash. It gives back and forth. There's nothing to get in your way rods well we've already covered that one my rods all of my rods all of my rods all of my rods every one of them gets a uh, gets a, a paddle leash rod leash we call them gear leashes uh, because there's so much more than a paddle leash all of my rods get a cinch lock i hook them to my seat they don't mess with you casting uh you'll be glad when you get two bites at one time I've actually had kings to take two rods at the same time, snatching them out of my rod holders. Lifesaver. You don't lose a rod. And you can get these for as low as, I think, 7 or $8 a piece when you buy a three-pack. A three-pack comes with three of these and uh, three high-quality carabiners. Going around a little further, bait bucket. You can never go offshore without your bait bucket. Uh, we all know that live bait's the best. So I carry a bait rod and a bait bucket everywhere I go. This bait bucket is just a little Walmart bait bucket, but it works great. I hook this thing up, always keep it hooked up, and I can let it float out beside me. But what I really prefer doing is hooking it up tight. Once I get bait in it, it doesn't drag my kayak that way. But if you want to uh, let it float out behind you, you can do this. And the waves, guess what? Takes the shock out of it. So it doesn't jerk and bang and all that. It really works great. Come around to the other side. And we have the same thing going on here. Every rod. Every rod. From my two casting rods. Well, I have one casting rod, one live bait rod. And I always carry my sabiki when I go off. My sabiki rod. Everything has a leash. Everything. If I carry it out and I don't want to lose it, it gets a leash from my paddle to all my rods, my GoPro, my depth finder, my Mirage Drive, my bait bucket, everything gets a leash. It's expensive gear. A leashes are very inexpensive insurance. So get you some of these. They're awesome. From everything to tying your gear down when you're traveling, uh, I use them for that, to rod leashes, gear leashes, Mirage Drive leash. Um, they're really fantastic leashes. Uh, at a price that really just makes sense to leash everything. Thank you.